Metal Max here of AskMetalMax.com, here with the, these guys need no, not, not much of an introduction, it's Lords of the Trident, and we're playing... in street clothes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yes. Um, and um, they, yeah, just play, they just got done playing a, uh, an opening set for the band of Montreal tonight, a band we won't be featuring on AskMetalMax.com. It, it was genre mis mismatch night. So, of course it was, you know, yes. Yeah, of course. We were know. like, we, hey, the, we found these guys, you know, small band from Georgia, Montreal, we're like, let's give them a shot. You know, let's bring them in, let's give them a shot, see what they can do. <laughs> you know, maybe they're not the same genre, but you know, I, I heard some people like them. Guys, what do you think of the brand new Union South? Do you think it has a lot of potential when it comes to, uh, say, like, metal shows in the future? Oh, yeah. I mean, the, to start off, there's a venue called The Set, which has got two T's in it, which is just, I mean, that sounds metal, just right. at the yes, beginning. Yes, of course, it's like, it does. Kind of like rap with two T's. Exactly, it's right. Exactly <laughs> like the exactly 80s band, band. Right. Right. Round and round. Round and round. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, so, um, uh, so I mean, yeah, I think there, I think there's a possibility for metal shows. Give a passionate plea out to anybody who might be watching this. Please, please, oh, please give us more metal. We don't want to suffer through all the we indie shows. <laughs> no offense to anyone who loves. We're not them. suffering. Um, yeah, we just want the metal. I gotta yes, say, of Montreal, very nice guys. Morning. I fell really bad because I call them morning transportation. They're morning teleportation. <laughs> Fair enough. It happens. Uh, it happens. Uh, really, everybody really nice guys. They gave us chocolate dipped strawberries, so I have nothing against them. Absolutely I didn't get, I didn't get a chocolate dipped strawberries. Well, you guys were not in the right place at the right time, <laughs> holding CDs. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Now, um, now, let's shift gears a bit, you know. Let's talk a little more Lords of the Trident here. You guys, like, have um, a new album out, I like Yep. Um, give us the title of it, for those who don't know. The Chains on Fire. Oh, uh, it's pretty much a metal and oh, it steel. Is. Metal and steel. Yeah. I'd say it's, it's metal, but you definitely have some songs that are uh, definitely more of like a uh, really modern in tune kind oh, of yeah. metalcore element. We also have uh, some ones that are a little more kind of, I don't want to say like hair metal, but they have more of that poppy oh, yeah. element to them, hard rock. Vibe. I have a soft spot for that style. Mm -hmm. You're in good company. The ladies love it too. That mm -hmm. they do, that they do. Uh -huh. And I think a strength with the uh, with the band and the album is we definitely try to do like a lot of different styles, you know. Now you guys, I heard just recently opened for uh, Three Inches of Blood and Skeleton. Yeah, Tell us about that. That yeah. it was uh, it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Uh, you know, we're big fans of Skeleton Witch and Three Inches of Blood. So to be able to open for those guys and you know just kind of chit chat with them, just hang out in the green room, you know, like what's up, what's up, you like stuff? Yeah, I like stuff. How about you? You know, yeah. it was very cool. All of them were extremely nice, especially Skeleton, which like you see the guy like oh, you know, big, you know, angry guy with tattoos and the spikes and stuff. He's like, hey, what's up? How's it going? You know, very super duper nice guys. Um, hey, you know, well that's pretty awesome. You know? Yeah. I mean, seriously, um, it's nice to know that they're willing to take chances on new and unknown bands right now. Actually, you guys are. Probably on the verge of not being so unknown anymore. Uh, yeah, I heard you guys like in the Bastard Den uh, not too long ago. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, step, I got step one of success is the Jimmy, Bastard Den. Jimmy K. You have one to have that first. Guy, dude. You know, he is. He's amazing. Them. Oh yeah. Have any music videos by any chance? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's a good question. <laughs> That's a great question because uh, this was our actually our last show until May 27th mm -hmm. because we are in the process of shooting probably well at this point. Two music videos, maybe three. Wow. Uh, so God, this is like a casting call. <laughs> yeah, I know. We really should have. So this, this next weekend, uh, we're actually shooting the first our, our first music video. Um, it's going to be mostly green screen, mostly CGI, right. kind of crazy stuff. Um, and then we're going to do uh, so that one is more more than likely going to be the song "Chains on Fire" off of "Chains on Fire." Wow. Uh, it's going to be the other one is going to be uh, "Face of the Enemy," uh, which is our All second right. song. Off of there, and that's uh, that's in drop C for all you guitarists awesome. out there. So you're gonna be like, you can put it in, and your CD player won't be able to play it. And you're like, why? Why? What is this? You don't have subwoofers that can handle it, and your face just melted. Um, sorry. So real quick, I want to ask, like, you know, tell me who are your main influences when it comes to like metal music right now? I mean, oh, uh, I think it varies for all the members. But well, I think, yeah, let's get a little. Let's yeah, go through. Let's just go around. Yeah. Let's make it real quick here. I don't know how much uh, longer that.
more snow out of Arctica. This is the heavy stuff that I keep mentioning to people, all right? Yeah. You know? Take note of this to anybody who's watching. Yeah. If you want, if you have the guts to join the music community and book this stuff, do it! Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, I like a lot of classic, like Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, but I like a lot of modern stuff, especially like Scandinavian stuff. Uh, everything from uh, like In Flames, Dark Tranquility, Stamina, Norther, you know. Oh, that's yeah. pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. And um, I gotta ask you guys, that's like, right. he's got a Alright, right, we're gonna go scar symmetry, some new stuff, and you know, again the 80s stuff like rap, docking. Oh, yeah. Any Metallica? Ebay, Metallica, Fox. Megadeth, Testament, Slayer, Slayer, Slayer. Slayer. Oh, man, yeah. yeah. Lords are taking this place like Yeah, yeah. that's right. These guys take no prisoners. Remember where you heard that, folks. First Remember time that. First it's up Montreal, then it's a. Uh, uh, not of Montreal, the other band. Hey, maybe he's open for you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we want to thank you guys. Well, we want to thank you guys for stopping by. You know, always a pleasure. Good luck to you, and let us know when the video is out. And uh, hopefully, we can get seen on AskMelMax.com very soon. Yep. Check us out on uh, LordsOfTheTrident.com, uh, Reverb Nation, YouTube, Facebook. MySpace, Bandcamp, RedTube, Sex.com. <laughs> and oh, and remember, before signing off, let, let me just make one final request to all you folks out there. You want to see more bands like Lords of the Trident play at, at the Union? You know what you got to do. Exactly. Start um, start telling people that they need to uh, book more and more okay, of, uh, metal shows here. Yep. So, I'm not saying indie rock doesn't deserve a voice, but, you know, other music does too. So, anyway, thanks for stopping by, guys. And uh, let's go like one, two, three, Lord! Oh, no, we gotta try it again. Ready? Two, one, one, two, three, Lord! Yeah. All right.